given the given one I'd put it in two different parts. Yeah. That's like, fine. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. So you ended up with like four statements Statics. out of these two? Yeah. Okay. In your first statement, the word bisect. You've got to get in the habit of looking for, I mean, if there are words in there like parallel, bisect, perpendicular, things that have definitions that we've learned. Your very next statement, thank you, midpoint. Your very next statement is going to be based off of what that definition tells you. So if we're given that there is a bisector, then that means we've got equal angles. So we've got to state what angles are equal to each other. And then once again, we knew that PR through the reflexive property was equal to itself. And that part of the statement is important because that's the side of both triangles that's equal. Therefore, through the angle side angle postulate, the triangles were congruent. And so we Wait. could say. Why didn't you say angle QRP is congruent to SRP? I did, right here. Um, I made two statements in one. Because it's the same reason. Anyhow. Both times. You don't have to do it that way. Okay? And so finally, if you look at the positioning. RQ is in the same spot as RS, which makes them corresponding parts of congruent triangles. What's the difference here of like PPR and SPR? Because the vertex of these two angles is P, which is here. And the vertex of these two angles is at R, which is on the other side of the triangles. That's the difference. Okay? Let's look at number five. Mm -hmm. Mr. Salvage, should we um, write the given and the true statement that they want us to do up on the board so the people who aren't at Westminster and who still go watch it? Um, no. Because this is for this is for my people. Okay. Do you know the only teacher like actually make good use out of a smart board? Okay, number five. The first given statement is C D is perpendicular to A B. As Jacob said, that is given. Okay, very good. Very good. But we're not going to say 90 degrees. We're going to say that they're congruent. Because that's what's important here. So, my key word, which is not spelled out, but it's in there, is perpendicular. And my definition of perpendicular lines tells me that it creates two 90 degree angles, which if they're both 90 degrees, then I know that they're congruent, right? right. So which two angles are congruent? The angle 90 degree angles. 
angle ADC and BDC. Very good. Now, that's as far as I can go with that information. And I'm going to mark it on my picture. So I'm going to see if there's something else that I've been given. D is the midpoint of AB, so I have to write that down. And that's given. So Here's my word. AD equals DB is the definition of the midpoint. Very good. The length, or I will say, segment AD is congruent to segment BD because of my definition of midpoint. And so that, so getting in um, DC equals is congruent to DC plus the time. Very good. DC is congruent to itself through the reflexive property. And so you know that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BDC because of the angle, side angle, side. Very good. We have enough information to prove the two triangles congruent. Triangle ADC is congruent to, and watch your order, BDC. Oops. Through the side angle, side postulate. And so now we must see what we were trying to prove. We were trying to prove that segment CA is congruent to segment CB. Well, here's where you look at the order of your letters. Are CA and CB in the same positions? Yes. yes. So they are corresponding, therefore they are congruent. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Isn't this fun? No. Uh. Yeah, it's just fine. I like it. You're back to the point. You were born to You were right. Okay, tonight for homework you are doing number three, four, five, six. On page 129? And that's it. On page 130 and 131. Number 9 and number 10. How many of those are proofs? All, All of them. them. All of them. <laughs> so people are leaving in the hall. It's not time to go. Lunch time. Right. <laughs> 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 It's like, I